Welcome back to the greatest football analysis show. We are inside this week. We're switching up a little bit. You can hear why though. But it's it? a good reason. Yeah. Poets kids are in town. You might hear the children in the background making noise. They might even run in. Have a nice football kit. I've got my own little football team been playing for like the last three, four months. Finally got some kits made. Releasing some to you, the people. Available if you're in London this Sunday at this place. I'm gonna be there 12 to 6. Pop down. Let's chill, have a couple of drinks, talk about philosophy, get a little kit if you want. What's left over, we'll go online. There is no enthusiasm, you're just as tired as me. <laughs> I have a reason. FIFA until 4 a.m. Proper. Thursday I went out. Yeah. I got very drunk. I came back home Saturday. Wait, 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 so I had like wait, wait, a day. Pause, 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 pause. You can't just say I came back Saturday and we move on. Oh, yeah. So where was you, big man? So Friday I was just at my friend's house, just on the couch, vomiting and sleeping and vomiting and sleeping. It was hell. Where did you go? I went to a place called The Box. It's a club. Now, if I went there and I saw Jamie Vardy, fair enough, innit? Because mm. in football, that's where he chose as well. Mm. But you, man, come on. You're trying to score in the box. It has to be on a football field or here. A comments under. That rave there, big man? Put it this way. Think of the worst thing you've seen. That's worse. We're going to move on. We're going to move on. Uh, we got some comments, Poet. This is just beautiful. And question would be best when I have to show, if it snows, you've got to do an episode from a paddling pool. I've been watching these guys for nearly 10 years and they never get old. Some things in life are just natural. Do you mean like physically we don't get old? Or do they mean like what we're doing doesn't get old? Leave a comment and let us know what you think they mean because I don't want to work this out. Algebra was too much of a problem as it is. Word you've, algebra. I don't feel like you've aged. You've kept the same face and hair for 10 years. It's mad, isn't it? Whereas I've had like the beard growth, hair change. Yeah, you've done a bit. The thing is, I went through a little part where you get gassed in whatever this is. Had straight hair, remember? Yeah. The Snoop Dogg thing. Remember that? Yeah, when you straighten your hair. Um, <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, apart from that, I haven't mixed it up. <laughs> the straight hair though. Oh, people. If you can remember, please go back to that. Waves. Let us know. Are we getting old or not? Every goal is valuable, but if goals can be measured in value, I don't know if there's any player in the history of Liverpool Football Club who has scored more valuable goals per goal ratio than Divock Origi. Football without Divock Origi is nothing. My favourite football show on the planet. Big respect, guys. Big love. Haven't watched you guys in months. Come back and poet is chilling in the bar, talking about match fixing. Never change, lads. <laughs> my brother, where's my life at? I'm doing a Manscaped advert in a bath with the godfather of my children. Iconic quote on the greatest football analysis show. One thing is guaranteed with his channel and its audio issues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, fam. Come. This this week we're bringing you the yes, which I think is nice. It's wholesome. Children crying is wholesome. Okay, you're going a bit too far now, but alright, cool. I fully respect you guys cutting the show early. If I had two friends passed away in the last month, it's impossible to keep moving in the same. Rest in peace to the man. His memory will keep on with you too, and all that loved him. Rest in peace, obviously, to Marvin Morgan Marvin and Scholar, man. Scholar. Quite a few people have passed away recently. Hundred percent. Young people as well is. Yeah, it's very, uh, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. The circumstances will determine if it's heartbreaking or not for me because as a man, as a roster man, we believe the next place is sensational. Mm. So if you've had a good life True. here, the place you move on to is even, even better. So you know what? Believe in reincarnation, past lives. Yeah, And even like philosophically, because I've been on that sort of philosophical vibe for a while now, it's like you start looking at death in, in different ways and you mm. sort of like, I don't know, you... you you're grateful for the people and what they've brought to the earth and, and, and the world. And you don't I think look at it as, I don't know, you're not as distraught by it, obviously upset, but not as distraught. When I die, wear what you want, and I'm gonna have a video or an audio. The audio's gonna start like this. Get me out! <laughs> I'm not that, gonna like take that, nuts, the that Irish guy, guy yeah. We're gonna go into the football though. Uh, a couple of stories. Mm. Samuel Etu becoming the president of the Cameroonian FA. Amazing. Incredible, one of the best I say West African, so African players in general. He is the and best. And strikers in general. Mm. The best African player of all time. The best African player of all time. People say Roger oh. Miller, he weren't alive. Stop lying. People say Kanu, he was a super sub at one point for Arsenal. People, people, what else? George Weah, good argument. Okocha. Again. Sorry, for me, oh, Femi Martins. The goal against Arsenal is crazy. And the fact that he was 46 the back's playing. Oh, the guy's a big man. You know he still plays now? There's the wholesome. He's still, he's, he's still playing now. I didn't even say Kanga, Red Star Belgrade. Ooh. Need to watch him play. Who else is there? There's a couple of... Mo Salah. People say, Mo Salah now. Leave a comment. Let us know who you think is the best African player of all time. Steve-O believes 
Does it mean Steve O said Etu? No, Steve O doesn't think Etu. Steve O says Drogba. Ooh, Steve O says Drogba. is tough. Yeah, Torre as well. But Etu for me, he won it with two. He won a Champions League with two different clubs: Barcelona and Inter Milan. On the top of the back of that, he had an argument with Pep Guardiola. Fell out with him. A lot of people would have thought, I guess, it's the end of Etu because Barcelona's kind of the, like the peak mm. once you're playing there. Man went to Inter Milan, won it. So and he started, wasn't he like a 19 year old captain at Real Mallorca? Like this oh, guy. Sick at Mallorca. Come on, my brother. Nine, he broke the record there, goal scoring record there. Uh, Etu was cold. So he won what, two Champions Leagues. How many leagues in Italy? In, he even come England. Play for Everton and Chelsea. He's done it. He scored a hat trick against Manchester United. One of the worst hat tricks of all time. Etu, the best African player of all time for me. Let us know comments under hashtag best African player. Then we have um, another piece of news. Legia Warsaw. We have an issue. Khalifa Zion, you're right. Great simple analysis to show, man. Say hello. Um, Legia Warsaw hooligans yeah. uh, beating up their own team. They stopped the bus and what? Rushed, rushed their players. Why? Because Leggy are bottom of the league. So, they, so how is that going to help the situation? They followed the bus, jumped in and rushed them. I'll be honest with you. You see when you do badness and them... them uh, mm -mm. Poland? Oh. Mm -mm -mm. You don't, don't want to be... around with the Polish. Angry Polish hooligans. Oh. I'm not on it. Sorry, what's it? Kid, I don't know how to work this anymore. Do you want to play There Poland? it is. I'll be like, nah, I'm all right, you know. Um, I got neighbours, a poet. Legends. Love Polish people legends. Oh, massive. But you don't make them angry. One time I got a Polish man angry. I remember I was walking with my cousin, Scrib, shout out Scribs. He had a link with him. So I started trying to show off. So I was walking on the road. Polish man had an Alsatian dog. I was like, why you got a police dog? He must be a fed. He's drinking a Stella. He's like, oh, you want to tell the dogs? He let the dog go. <laughs> he let the dog go. I was running. Yo. You want to tell jokes? <laughs> you want to tell, you wanna tell very jokes? Very Eastern European. He didn't care. Do you ever know what you're going to get? You no. might get banter, or you might get violence. He started laughing as well. It's amazing. He called his friend. Yeah. Saw me. <laughs> the dog's running around the car. I'm, I'm at the top of the car. He's like, ah, ha, ha, ha. It's like, come. Don't be rude no more. I was like, yeah, it taught me a lesson, man. Shout out Poland, Lewandowski, man. You're going to look robbed. Poland. <laughs> Vlahovic, two goals away from breaking the calendar goal scoring record. He's on 32, I believe. Ronaldo's on 33. Where's he from? Serbia. We have to Finally, get the convo. We have a striker. He's got three more games to play this calendar year. If he gets one or two more goals, he has beaten Cristiano records of 33 goals in a, host, in a, in a calendar season. Anyone want to buy two kids? <laughs> buy one, get one free? <laughs> As we go on to, I would say, a man um, who you might be surprised to hear me calling this, but I think he's a bit of a fraud. And that is Rafael Benitez. Oh my lord, why do you say this, bro? They lost the Palace 3 1. Shout out to Gallagher. Great player. Oh, good player. Good player. But Benitez, yeah. I think he's an agent trying to get Everton relegated, which is amazing. I wouldn't put it past him. The reason I fell out of love with him yeah. was when he tried to sell Chabi Alonso to buy Gareth Barry. And we have this on good source. This is like a fact, more or less. He tried to sign Gareth Barry. And sell Xabi Alonso. And can I tell you, Xabi Alonso was on the motorway on the way to sign for Arsenal. I have this on really good authority. Until Real Madrid made the phone call. Ruined everything. They mixed it up, man. So, for me, this man, he doesn't win that Champions League. No? If Dudek doesn't do this. If Gerard doesn't do the madness. If the God, whatever you want to call it, does what it happened. Does he win the FA Cup final? When Gerard scores that 35 yard banger, with a, when he had a hammy pulled anyway. I'm looking at all the. I know he's done things at Valencia before that, won a couple of leagues, whatever. Yeah. UEFA Cups. But to me, he's a man that just. You can't. I don't understand mm. why you'd want to sell someone like Jabby Alonso. I'm, I'm hurt by that still from back then. So when he's. Mm. I don't look at him. I probably should, but I just don't look at him as a huge club legend. Gareth Barry, Barry by the way, he did play. Like, he started, I remember when he started his career, his manager was John Gregory. Or maybe before, that, in the Premier League anyway. He ended his career at West Brom just the other day. This is a legend we're talking about. Hmm. But Xabi Alonso's photo when he retired means you're right. That photo to say goodbye is the best. I'm sorry, Rafa Benitez, maybe you are a fraud. You tried to get rid of Xabi Alonso. Maybe the new style of football is, you know, hmm. getting into. Rafa's a bit old. He won the league of what, 2001 in Valencia. Man like Pablo Aymar and... He's from a different generation. Different generation. Yeah. He's from a of next football. generation. Like, he remembers Roger Miller. They were cousins. Like, it's he like remembers us on the internet. We're not on TikTok. 
We're not out here. I tried it once. Don't get me wrong. When you nail the dance, it's a good feeling. Mm. But I can't be on TikTok. It's long. I like TikTok, but you just got to find your place on TikTok. Mm. You just got to figure out your space and then like, do your thing. Find something to do on there. You know when people walk into it's like TikTok's a room. You walk in. There's loads of different places for you to go, but you go to the place everyone's at. I should just review football kits or something. Something where it's just like niche and like a little. If you try and do what everyone else is, just. It just doesn't really. Then you get all them people that like that content coming over, and then the moment that you don't want to do it no more, they leave as well. Mm. Well, let us know. Is Rafa Benny is a secret agent? Is Rafa a fraud? Is he there to relegate Everton? As we move on to another manager, mm. his first game in charge, Man United just about win. A bit of a controversial penalty decision. Mm -hmm. Ronaldo with the penalty puts it away. De Gea with some excellent saves. Kept them in the game. Ragnick wasn't that happy. Ralph Ragnick slammed Manchester United's body language, intensity and aggressiveness after a narrow win over Norwich and insisted David De Gea won us the game. What did he say? What? Yeah, and he said, It was a strange one to see what happened today on the ball and off the ball. Those players have had a free week to prepare. So I was expecting a ferociously frantic start to the game. High pressing, quick play. But it was lethargic from minute one. Now, when Jose Mourinho does that, everyone gets on him. How many managers have gone to Manchester United and spoke about this now? Maybe I was wrong. Maybe it weren't Oli. Maybe it's the group of guys. Maybe it's the energy at the club. You know, I've, I've always been a bit sceptical of on. the individuals. And I know I speak about their egos. I do think United's players don't care that much. And I get that feeling when I watch them. Maybe they will develop that care as Ragnick pushes it into them, instills it in them. I just don't sense a care. When you're getting that... We've been in situations, right? Yeah. Sometimes we care, sometimes we don't, right? Yeah. And jobs we've done. Yeah. You know when you're getting a bag? Yeah. And you're like, I'm getting a bag. And you, you know, you, you perform, you'll do your thing. Yeah, I'm getting, but I know I'm getting a bag. So yeah, whatever. I'll just turn up to work. Sometimes I get that energy from, from the squad. Not all of them, but just the energy, the overall energy. My biggest problem is that they signed Ronaldo. That's my new problem now. Why? Hear my argument. It's crazy. Go on, go on, go on. Let me hear the argument. He's too good for them. As a... In everything. Psychological force. He's too good for them. As a mentality. He's too good for them. Elite. He's got... I think he has an elite mentality. Even the penalty. Which people say controversial. I think it's a pen. Max Aarons. Love you, man. He's won the pen. Ronaldo's won the pen. The way he's gone down. You even hear it in the, in the, uh, on the TV coverage. He goes, oh! Come on, You my... hear him go, oh! Oscar Worthy? Yeah. Come on. The it's a good performance. You've got to win penalties. It's part of the game. Because another player, maybe let's say, I don't know, let's say Martial or someone. Leave Martial alone. I want him at Arsenal. Carry on. Cavani. Maybe even Cavani at this age. He might have just gone down. And he's like, hey, pen. Ronaldo, as he's getting dragged, is going, oh! And you hear it on the coverage. Hollywood. Elite. You know when you want to win Suarez? Oh! <laughs> My man's crying at this age for getting an injury and getting subbed. And that is like, I care. I want to win. I want to play football. And when I look at some of their players, that team, I don't get that. I'm here to play football and win. I just get that. Yo, I'm sick. I'm going to do my thing. Let me give you another comparison now. Go on. I don't like to slander this company because I actually have moved on from it. Okay. So C90, I'm going to call them. Okay, C90. They're cool. Yeah. I have no issues with them. But the energy myself and Vuj had in the office, it wasn't the same as everybody else. I think it's, me and Vuj had a different energy. I think we came with elite energy. I think we really wanted to be successful. And I think, and this is not a disrespect to them, they wanted to make some cheddar. Ch cool. Yeah, some peas, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's Ronaldo at Man United. I think he comes there mm. and he wants to end the legacy high, proper things. And I think Went some something. people are just happy to make look at 300 bags a week. They're like, yo, big man, Selfridges <laughs> is lit now. I'm out here and I don't see that. And it's not, maybe they don't know how to do it. Maybe some of the younger players literally just don't know how to put themselves in that frame of mind due to lack of life experience. But I think Ronaldo, he would leave. He's at Thierry Henry. When Thierry Henry was at Arsenal in 06, he had to leave to allow the rest of them to grow. I think for this team to grow, I know it sounds mad. I think Ronaldo has to leave. Ooh. He's their dad, I, fam. I don't know how you change that. I'm looking at it now because... They've gone through different managers. They've gone through an authority in Mourinho. Mm -hmm. They've gone through Oli, who's like a club legend. Yeah. Who was before Mourinho? Van Gaal? Van Gaal. Before They've Van had Gaal. Van Gaal, who's, you know, done his thing in the game. And some players have stayed. Some new players have come in. Yeah. But I think 
it's been too inconsistent in what they're getting from their managers. Certain men now are just comfortable. As you said, they're getting the bag. Ronaldo comes and they're like, oh, this is nice with Ronaldo. I might try a bit more, but when they get home, I don't think they go home and they go, oh, man, we should have battered Norwich. I'm a bit pissed we didn't perform that well. I think they're like, yo, who's on? who wants to go out tonight? It's dead, bro. I think, they, I think they're on that vibe. Who's out tonight? Like, can, we go, can we go yours? Or even worse. Yeah, that's different though. If they say the combi goal yours, it's I think even the bar. manager should let them. The everyone goal yours. The best bars but it's more of I've seen people do it. Sorry to carry on about this. You know I love this. Go movie. On, go on, a little psychological breakdown. I've seen man love something, try it for a month, two months, and then just give up and go. Oh, at least I'm getting paid. Or I've seen that in this in our working field where they sacrifice whatever they feel and they're like, it doesn't matter. I've man. Been I'm there. getting paid. I hear you. And I'm saying to you, you're stunting your growth. Hundred percent. So I think with Cristiano Ronaldo, what he wants to achieve, what he has achieved and what he's capable of achieving is completely different to that changing room. I don't think, they're just not there yet. He needs to be around elite guys. Like Messi went to PSG. You can cuss it, but he's around elite guys. I'd even Ramos. say the Arsenal team wants it more than the Man United team right now as a group. My brother. As a collective. I'm with you. I'm with you. They want it more. As much as I can get on Jet Black and th that guy... He looks like if Arsenal lose, he can't sleep. Eventually, that guy gets it right. Maybe not at Arsenal, but in life, eventually he gets it right because he's always trying to move forward. So he'll go through the pain barrier, all of that. You see, when you're content, some of the Man United men just look content to me, and that's just... Or they feel like, doesn't matter, at least Daddy will sort it out, a.k.a. Ronaldo. Mm. Your father won't always be there, fam. Ask Jesus. Mm. He had to go, go track him again because father sent him down. You're not always there. Well, Randnick doesn't seem too happy in his first game. Let's see what happens in the next few games. They've got Brentford next, a very tough team to play away? against. I believe it's away. Oof. That's going to be a real test for United to see. Is Ragnick going to get that frantic energy he wants, that he wants them to, to show they want to play for the shirt, or is he not? Let's see if those players are going to learn something, change the collective. When is it? I believe, we're going to have to do a show on Friday. When is it? When, like when is, when's the game? Wednesday, Thursday. You fancy going? To Brentford. Josh De Silva. I'm sending you a little message. I can't lie to you. Oh. I think I like Brentford again. I think I want to go to that. I think I've got the top. I've got a spare one. All right, let's go Brentford. I'm on it. I want to message us today. Well, that's a little debate we've had, me and Poet. The United... Look at him when he... Sorry. Look at him when he scored the pen. You see when... Against Norwich, that reaction. He like, wants to win. Look, I'm here. Norwich, bottom of the league. That, I want a player to be like this. I'm interested to see. I'm interested to see where it goes with Man United. Um, but a team that won, 1 0 against Villa. They were the better team. Another penalty, because above so many penalties this week, the Prem was sponsored by Parker. Hmm, pen pals, man. Penalty, penalties everywhere. I think it was a penalty on Salah. Once again, elite. He wants to win. The way he goes down, the way he feels the contact and falls. You want your goals, he wants his penalty. Liverpool struggling to get that goal. They get the goal, 1-0. Gerard returns. Oh, amazing. That felt nice. I think that was the main topic. Gerard returning. Gerard returns. I hear that, but you know what? Salah don't care about Gerard returning. He cares, but let's just get the three points, man. And Liverpool, see that Cristiano Ronaldo mentality I'm talking about? The whole team. The whole team has that. They, they all have it. And I look at the prices that they've come in for. I look at their circumstances. I'm like, this is a humble group of guys. Mm. Ain't no one out here. And even when they have a game off, the next game they're back. They're like, no, no, no. We actually can't. We can't perform like this. And you feel the shift. Do you know what you can't have too much of? Man them. Who want to hang around with rappers. Okay, okay, okay. Go on. Because you see this football team. You've got to be focused. You can only hang around with the rappers once you understand what you have to do to get what you need to get. During that process, if you're hanging around with these rappers, you guys, these rappers are out and they can do what they want. Life, they sell lifestyle. You're playing football, big man. So if I'm a rapper and I'm in the club at 3 a.m., I can rap about that. Mm -hmm. You cannot play football about that. That's impossible. Mm -hmm. So I just think some of these guys, man, they need to just, just do the job first, do it consistently, then celebrate because everyone celebrates with you. But I think one thing that that Man United team suffers from is they're not doing their job. And Liverpool, when I look at them, if I saw Trent tomorrow with Jay-Z and Drake and Kanye, I'd say he's earned that right. He does his job. The next one, Man City against Wolves. We just want to congratulate Sterling on 100 goals. 
Big up Raheem. My brother. Doing his thing. And uh, the penalty, which I don't... I don't have a penalty. I don't actually think this one was a penalty. Because it hits him on the midriff first, and yeah. then it goes on his arm. No, you know how it is nowadays, fam. That's a penalty. Don't get stuck with Toribo West and Sandy Elise in 1998. This is not the French World Cup. It is 2021 going into 22. Today, that's a penalty. Well, they got the penalty, and I'm happy because Sterling got the goal. Uh, and there was a red card for Raul Jimenez. That what? was the dumbest red card I've seen in my I, life. I didn't see it. I just saw you people. You fouled someone, got a yellow. And he wouldn't move for them to take the quick free kick. And he intercepted the ball when they played the pass. And the ref was like, oh, second yellow. <laughs> You're not giving me any. So dumb. Has, has the draw been made? For Champions League, can we check? Yes, yes. Oh my God, breaking news. Wait, 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 wait. I, oh, it's just been made, bro. To be honest with you, do you know why I'm never interested in it? <gasps> ah! Kids have got my phone. Pop, 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 pop. Oh! Ah! Airplane mode, I can't tell them. Go back to it. Yes, my bub. Sorry, bub. Sorry, sorry, kids. Wow. 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 Read them out. Read them out. This is mad. And we'll talk about it. Read them out. Oh, you got a good, easy job. It's all about that one, though. All right, go, read it, I'm read it out. Sporting Juve. Meh. Villarreal Man City. Meh. Chelsea Lille. Meh. Salzburg, Liverpool. Vez. I mean, it's all a bit, I'd okay. say a bit mehish. Benfica, Real Madrid. Bleh. Then it gets a bit more interesting. Inter Ajax. I like that. That's going to be a good game. Then we got Atletico Madrid, Bayern. I like that. I like that. Even though Real Madrid beat them 2 0 yesterday. But it's all about this one. And I think someone's going to get their revenge. PSG against Manchester United. Ronaldo versus Messi. It was 100% a con. Someone scammed it. It's a no, no, no. It's 100% I'm sorry. A con. UEFA. 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 You lot, man. You lot need to stop putting oh. vibrators in them balls, fam. You know what you're doing. Man, I've got that vibrating for the clip thing in the ball. They activate it. And I know, oh, wait, that's the PSG ball. Oh, 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 PSG. Oh, I didn't know. Next one, they roll it. Rings again. Oh, who would have thought? Man United. You know what they're doing. Come on, bro. Oh, they need nah, money. Nah, they need money. You don't need money, You're man. telling me that's what you drew. And you drew all the other ones are looking hella dead. I'm sorry. These are these halfways are Europa League time. Sporting Juve, Villarreal, Man City, Chelsea, Lille. Even sounds like Liverpool. Liverpool batter them. But, you know what that means? Quarters are going to Oh, be Liverpool, right. Salzburg. Yeah. Oh, my Red God. Red Bull, Salzburg. Oh, I thought it was... Not even Leipzig, blood. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Salzburg. Salzburg. I saw you batted them like a couple years ago. But you know what that means? Harlem play for them. Quarterfinals are going to be mad. Because you're yeah. looking like a lot of them are going to go through. It's going to be a mad quarterfinal. So they made the rest of them de dead. You but they got that one standout tie. Conspiracy, 100%. But I'm happy Conspiracy. you did it. I'm happy you did it. Balance. They cooked it up in the lab. Balance. Give us the tie that we want to see. PSG versus Man United. Yeah. I actually want to see it. <laughs> and this time round, real life, I cannot lie to you, I want Man United to get punished. Oh, I think they will. I don't know. Messi? I don't know. But they're playing not that great. I don't know. I just don't know. The intensity mm. you have to play in the Premier League every single week. Mm. I don't know. I don't think it's easier saying, yeah, I just, I don't know. So you reckon United could still shock them? Ragnick, a few more games in, Why not? get the team going. They've got a good team, you know. Sancho, Rashford, Ooh. Bruno Fernandes, Donny van der Beek, Paul Pogba. Matt, these are not rubbish players, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Cristiano Ooh. Ronaldo. Ah, it's going to be... Look, it's, it's a match made in heaven. I think... Also... I don't know what to think. These ties are in February, like innit? That. Yeah. That's what I mean, more time. January is going to be interesting. Signings, G movements. G Ronaldo apparently leaving to go somewhere. You've got uh, Donny van der Beek and Martial potentially leaving. If people leave, do people come in to replace? I don't know. Messi versus Ronaldo again. Oh, It's not as exciting as it was when we were younger, though. Like, still, it's got that. Because this is the last, it's a last stand. Jordan. Mbappe versus Rashford. I remember when that was a conversation. I'm glad it's not anymore. No, but. It's part of the commerce, part of the narrative. They're going to end it like this. You know, it's probably mm. one of their last games against each other. I reckon that's going to, it's going to be a good game to watch. PSG favourites, but anyone's game. It is anyone's game. It's difficult. 
Oh, I'm happy with that. That's that's a beautiful way to end it. Rag rag. Rag rag. It's gonna Ragnick's gonna be planning. Oh Rolls Rag. You know what? We were talking about United needing that little pump up. Hopefully this is their little crack. But then who knows what their form will be a bit from of... now until then anyway. If their yeah. form picks up and they're really, really good, yeah, PSG got I mean. a problem. That, exactly. I think this is their little piece of crack. They needed that crack rock. And Neymar's injured now, probably back UEFA fresh for that game. He's the drug dealer. UEFA, thank you for doing that UEFA, one. UEFA, thank you. Well done, well done. We thank you, UEFA, because this is your doing, yeah. 100%. Vibrating balls, man. We know what you're doing. If you're, vi- you're going to fix football, yeah, do, don't send man to Qatar in December. No, mm. do this. We like it. We approve. Guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice Sunday. Hopefully, I'll see you there. A couple of these available pop up. A few other of my shirts as well from my collection are going to be there. So, yeah, come down. Let's have a nice poll. My brother. Big love. And we'll, we'll see on. you soon. We might even see you again this week. There's another game week if you're about. I think I need to go to Brentford. We yeah. need to go to Brentford. Film on Friday? Yeah. See you Friday. Have a nice.